what's up you guys today I'm bringing you guys another all Aldi video I'm not gonna ramble forever in the beginning here all Aldi videos are just really simple dinner recipes made for a family with ingredients all from Aldi so they're budget friendly easy to prepare quick to prepare and obviously family approved I will link my playlist down below if you want to see other all Aldi videos I do have a kids lunch idea as well if you want to see that but let's go ahead and hop in I make this smothered pork chop uh, thing in the oven with prima mushroom soup milk and a packet of French onion soup mix So I'm gonna try to do that with chicken today have chicken breasts I'm gonna use cream of chicken instead this time I'm just gonna dilute the cream of chicken down with some milk instead of putting in the onion soup mix Which I might but I think I'm just gonna stick with some seasoned salt and a little bit of minced onion Maybe some garlic powder also from Aldi but I'm going to be just smothering my chicken. These are frozen. I'm going to throw them right in my pan with all this stuff. Throw it in the oven, bake it until my chicken's done. And then this makes a lazy gravy almost. And then we're going to eat that on top of some mashed potatoes. I already peeled mine. And whatever we have left over for mashed potatoes, my husband's going to make twice bakes out of for tomorrow's dinner. Which I might get him to show you how he does that because my husband makes it twice bakes. I definitely don't, that's his thing. So if we have leftovers, we might, we might not honestly, but I peeled all the rest of the potatoes I had. They were starting to look pretty, pretty bleak. So we're gonna cook these up before they go bad. So just a little hack for you. It's actually three o'clock right now. I always peel my potatoes during nap time because trying to peel potatoes with a baby on your hip is the worst thing ever. So what I do is I peel them and then I just dunk them in cold water. And this will keep them good to go. I do this overnight during any holiday, whether it be Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, I will peel all my potatoes, soak them in water like this, and just put them in the fridge. It keeps them cold, and then the day of, I don't have to peel my potatoes. I've already cleaned up that mess. It's one less thing I have to do, and I always include this in my prep the night before Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff. It's the best thing ever. So yeah, just plain water. And then the next day when you go to cook it, dump out the cold water, add fresh water, and then go ahead and boil. And that's the best life hack my husband has ever taught me, hands down. So I just got a normal sized small mixing bowl, threw my cream of chicken in there, and then I just filled the cream of chicken can with milk. So equal parts cream of chicken and milk. I did that just to wash out any cream of chicken that was stuck in the bottom of the can. I'm whisking it together just to make a loosened gravy of some sort, I suppose. I'm dumping that mix all over my chicken in my lasagna pan. You can use whatever you want. You could even do this in the crock pot if you didn't want to have to sit and babysit it or you were busy that day, wanted it to be a little bit more simple for you, throw it in your crock pot, do it the exact same way and it'll probably be more tender honestly, be more like a shredded chicken but that's really really good too. I set that at 425, 450, let's see here, 425 and I let that go for about an hour. Mashed potatoes are done, I'm just mashing mine with a little bit of butter and milk if you wanted to. You could also throw in sour cream, chives would be really good in here, some green onion, but then seasoning, just some of that seasoned salt and then a little bit of black pepper. I'm mashing my potatoes with just half a stick of butter and seasoned salt, a little bit of pepper, throwing in a little bit of that milk there and just mashing it up. If you wanted to, Aldi also sells sour cream that you could throw in here or some green onions, some chives, even cheese would be good. Do whatever you want, get fancy with the mashed potatoes. You could throw in a little bit of Cajun seasoning or some red chili flakes or something if you were into that sort of thing, but we kept it simple today at least. So this is what the chicken looked like when it was done. You can see that that sauce kind of thickened up, became a little bit more like a gravy. It's really, really good. It's definitely a family favorite. We like it a lot. I think next time I might try it in the crock pot. I have not done that yet, but this is our finished plate. We paired it with some green beans. Green beans were from Walmart today, but Aldi sells green beans and they're honestly better than Walmart. Tonight, I'm going to make some turkey enchiladas. Everything I have is from Aldi, minus the cream cheese. This one's from Walmart. Aldi does sell cream cheese. I just don't have any from Aldi on hand, so I'm using this one, but Aldi does sell it. Everything you're going to need for this is pretty basic. I'm using turkey, but you could use chicken, you could use steak, 
you could definitely use ground beef. This is just what I'm opting to use today. And I'm only gonna use half of this two pound package, so you're just gonna need a pound of ground turkey. A bag of Mexican style cheese. You could definitely just do Colby Jack. Aldi has really amazing varieties of these shredded cheese bags. So you could definitely do either they sell a taco style blend, this Mexican blend, Colby Jack. You could do cheddar, sharp cheddar, kind of whatever you want. You could definitely experiment with that and change it up. But because this cheese is so highly seasoned i'm actually not going to use any other seasoning um, minus just regular salt and pepper and probably some onions and that is here's my onion that i'm going to use to just bring out a ton of flavor never underestimate the power of just what an onion can bring i also have one can of these diced tomatoes with green chilies this is essentially just uh the aldi version of rotel which i genuinely love a lot so this is what I'm gonna be using today. And then I have two cans of these El Paso red enchilada sauces. Aldi also sells a green version every once in a while. I did pick these up at Aldi. Uh, they have name brand things every once in a while in their aisle of shame that you can buy. And that's where I purchased these. Otherwise, I know they do sell uh, an enchilada sauce that they have like all the time. It's just a different version. Do that as well. And then of course, your tortillas. I'm using these big burrito flour tortillas. There's eight in here. This is gonna be plenty for my family. Keep in mind, all three of my kids are five and under, so they don't eat a lot. Honestly, one of these enchiladas will probably feed all three of them. So I'm gonna make this meal and this will feed my family for two separate meals with just eight tortillas, a pound of your meat of choice, your cheese of choice. I'm going to use half a block of this cream cheese. I found that using a whole block is a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna use half. And then these handful of items. So that's pretty cool. I love using, me I love making meals that only take a couple of ingredients that have a lot of flavor and are just really simple to throw together. That's definitely my thing. So that is everything you're gonna need for this enchilada meal. I've got my one pound of ground turkey going in with half of a large onion. If I do any more than that, my kids kind of tend to steer away from it unless it's in a soup or a chili or something like that. So we're gonna keep it just like this. I've got this going though. I'm going to package away this other half for dinner for another day. I also have probably a cup of rice in my fridge that's just leftovers I need to get rid of. So I think I'm gonna throw that in here. You could also throw in beans, corn, any type of rice. Like even if you got one of those packets of Mexican style rice, you could throw those in here. That'd be really good. Kind of anything you really want. Uh, my family's not too huge on beans, but corn would definitely be good in here. I like recipes that you can switch a couple of things and just make them feel new again. So we've got this going at the moment. So I'm just cooking down that one pound of turkey meat with my onion, letting that go. And once it was about done, I threw in just half a block of that cream cheese. And then I really just let that melt down. And once that melted down, I kind of determined how much more creamy I wanted it, how much more cheesy I wanted it. Also throwing in some leftover rice that I had in my fridge. Um, that the reason it's brown is because it was actually from an Asian dinner. It's some sort of teriyaki sauce that was on it, but once I threw it in here, you could not taste it. My family literally had no idea. Follow me for more mom hacks. <laughs> Anyways, I threw that in, threw in about half a can, three-fourths of a can of that red enchilada sauce, and really just let that go down, let that melt, especially that cream cheese. And then once that melted down more, I took that Mexican cheese and threw in a handful, two handfuls, really just stirred that in once again, just letting it melt down to get to the consistency that I wanted, which is what it looks like here, tasting for salt and pepper. And then I moved it over to my island where I had everything laid out and started just stuffing these enchiladas. You could also add beans to this, corn to this, kind of anything you wanted, but we're stuffing it here just rolling it up and of course enjoying my four o'clock afternoon cup of coffee because that was the kind of day that was but we're just rolling up all of these i made a whole package of tortillas from aldi which is an eight count these are the medium sized 
tortillas. I really like these. This fed my family for two or three days, but I was just stuffing until I had no more filling left. Now I'm taking that can of like Aldi Rotel and throwing it over the top. I do this because my husband doesn't like tomatoes, so they need to be visible. I have to put tomatoes on top because my husband despises tomatoes, so I put them on top. That way there's no, you know, where are the tomatoes? I don't want to eat the tomatoes, so me and my kids like tomatoes. My husband does not. We'll split it that way and it'll be good. I'm taking the rest of my sauce. Once I did that, I just took the rest of my enchilada sauce, dumped it over top, and then I opened up that second can, dumped that over top, topped it with my the rest of that Mexican cheese, and popped it in the oven 350 just until the cheese is melted because everything's cooked. So just get the cheese to the consistency that you want, and you are ready to serve. You can serve with sour cream, avocados, kind of whatever you want, lettuce, fresh tomatoes, but these are delicious, and these also freeze wonderful. I don't really know if I can count this as an all Aldi meal, but I'm going to. Uh, they're all Aldi take and bake pizzas. We love these. So today I did cheese and sausage. Have not done sausage in probably almost a year. So I got that uh, mostly for my husband. He loves sausage. And then just plain cheese. Typically one pizza would feed us, but I also have my brother up here tonight. And some of our neighbors might be coming over. Um, we're helping them do some farm work and stuff. So I got a couple. I have two more. Um, I have another sausage and then a supreme that I might throw in if we need it, but I'm going to start with two. So all Aldi, you could also pair this with one of their salad kits or make your own salads. They have cheese breads and flatbreads and stuff, but we're just going to do the pizzas tonight. I don't want to stay here, no. Ain't going to keep it low now. If you want to go, let's go. Let's wrap it up, baby. 